Oh. Yeah, well, I taught myself. I mean, my mum sewed. Um, she couldn't do anything with sleeves, but she sewed. So she showed me how to use a sewing machine and just the very basics. But uh, I really mostly taught myself. And then when I um, formed Lady Georgiana, we needed historical costumes. So I sort of sat myself down and, and taught myself about historical costumes and underpinnings and fabrics. And uh, yeah, it kind of went from there. Yeah. Lady Georgiana is my, my main group. It, we play um, popular music of the 18th century and we do it all in costumes. I'm really interested in um, a lot of stuff from the Victorian era. If you know the Jane Austen kind of silhouette, early Victorian, it's, it's similar to that, but a bit more ornate and more triangular. Then you've got the 1850s, 1860s, you've got these very bell-shaped, very wide, very bell-shaped dresses. If you look at um, dramatisations of Dickens, that's what they tend to have. They tend to have these, these bell-shaped crinolines. And then going on a little further, you've got all the bulk gets taken towards the back with the bustle. So you, you've got quite a slim front, and then you've got this big thing that sticks out at the back, which is got all piled par- with drapery and fringing and and bows, and, and that's that's quite all. It's it's very elegant, I think, the Victorian era. It's, it's quite quite elegant. One thing I do find very interesting, corsets get a very bad press. They you know they said oh they're restrictive and they're this and they're that. And I mean, having made and worn my own my own corsets because I, I have to for um historical performance, it's actually quite interesting. I feel very comfortable in mine. They're uncomfortable if they're not made for you. But I also feel like he woman. It's they're, they're great. You put one on and you suddenly feel as though you could lift cars. They're very you're slightly restricted and in, in you can't bend from side to side terribly well. But you feel amazingly supported. It's like armor, and you feel as though you could, you could go into battle wearing one of these corsets and. I, I went on my first ever protest march wearing a, a corset a couple of years back because I knew I was, I was tired and the corset keeps you upright and it stopped, it stopped me getting tired so quickly. I do quite, I do quite like the Georgian era. Um, I, I heard an argument once that the Victorians were so prudish and straight-laced because the, the people of the Georgian era were so liberated in many ways. You have these very, very low-cut necklines, these enormous skirts and you put them over pocket hoops and you take up an enormous amount of space when you put these things on. It's very hard to be shy and retiring in 18th century costume. Women's official social status wasn't that great, but in certain circles there were a lot of women that had quite a lot of power. And I wonder if a lot of that could be reflected in these very big skirts, you know, very low-cut tops, you know, I'm a woman, kind of, this is my shape, this is me being womanly. I mean, now we'd consider such low-cut tops to be tarty, to be very... um um, what's the word, risque. Yeah, well, it, always, it always struck me as being more of a bit of a celebration of the female form because you certainly you had to have a certain amount up top to be able to pull it off. And of course now, if we look at what's in the fashion magazines, women in them are very boyish looking. I mean, I, I have trouble. A lot of modern clothing doesn't seem to accommodate me. So it's a relief to put on my period costume and think, ah, yes, period costume likes me. I personally think that a lot of modern fashion is very understated. To my mind, it's quite dull. We don't tend to dress up a lot anymore. We don't tend to have real fun with our clothes, like I think they did maybe in the 50s, 60s, maybe even 70s. I I tend to like big skirts and and, and hats and bows and feathers. A lot of people think fashion is, you know, being on trend or or, or following what's what's new, but I I think fashion is... is, I I think good fashion should be like... It should be like a fingerprint. It should be individual to the person. It should reflect what their likes and their dislikes are, their favourite colour, the kind of food they like eating, the music they listen to. Good fashion, you can look at what a person's wearing and, and just maybe feel like you know them a little bit.